Hello everyone. Today I am going to share with you my DSPDA mini project. The project name is Predicting Student Performance Using Machine Learning. This project aims to predict student performance based on various factors such as gender, ethnicity, parental level of education, lunch type, test preparation course, and exam course. The dataset used for training the machine learning model is sourced from Kaggle Student Performance in Exam. The machine learning model is trained using supervised learning algorithm such as decision tree or random forest to predict the max score based on the input features. The dataset is split into training and testing set to evaluate the model's performance. Technology used are Python, machine learning, Pandas, NumPy, Skylearn, Class, HTML, and CSS. Now let's see how user interface actually works. So we are taking the input from user. So first block is a gender. The student is male or female. Then there is a race or ethnicity, which is divided into the five groups. Then there is a parent level education in which there are different degrees like association, bachelors and etc. Then there is a lunch type, whether the lunch is free or standard. Then there are the status of test preparation course means it is completed or not completed. Then there is a writing score by preparing out of 100. And same for the reading score out of 100, we can give the input. And then we click on the submit button. Then our model predict the performance of the student on the basis of, on the basis of given input. Now let's understand data science role in this project. First of all, we perform the exploratory data analysis in our data. For that, we have included various libraries. These libraries help for the help to perform different operations on our data. Then we load our data into the data frame for the further analysis and manipulation. df.head will display the first file record of the data frame. It allows for a quick, quick infection of data set to understand its structure and content. Then df.shape will show the dimension of the data frame. It provides the information about the size of the data set which is useful to understand the scale. Then df.isna, this function will find the missing value from our data set. It provides information of, it provides the information about missing value which is the curricular for data cleaning and pre-processing ensuring the quality of the data set then df.duplicate find the duplicate rows in the data frame detecting the duplicate duplicate rows in the data set can maintain the data integrity then df.info provides information about the data frame including data type and each column and memory uses. It helps to understand the structure, the data set and access memory uses, which is useful for optimization. Then dev.uni, this line returns the number of unique value for each column in the data frame. It helps to identify the cardinality of categorical variable and access data variability. Dev.describe, this line generates descriptive statistics for the numerical column in the data frame, including count, mean, standard deviation, and quartile. Descriptive statistics provide the insight into, into central tendency and variability of numerical data. Then, we are adding data, uh, total score, and average uh, average column in our data which will which will calculate the total score and average score for each student by summing up and averaging the score across the subject the total and average score provide aggregate measure of student performance facilitating further analysis and comparison then we have calculated the student who got out of marks in the reading score, writing score, and math score. 
This identifying the number of students with perfect score can provide insight into exceptional performance. Also, we calculate the student with minimum marks in three subjects. This also gives the same insights like getting the ex exceptional performance. Then we have used the histogram for the data visualization. Histogram, histogram are useful, are useful to understand the dis distribution of the data to get more insight from the data. For smoother distribu distribution, we have used the kernel distribution function here in our data. So for various features, we have created the histogram. So we get the information about how each feature affecting the to to student performance. And lastly, we use the pair plot pair plot so we get the relationship between multiple variable in the data set in our data set with the help of pair plot we get the insight that the score increased linearly with each other by performing this idea we conclude that student performance is related with lunch race parental level education females lead in pass percentage and also are top scorer Student performance is not much related with the test preparation course. Finishing preparation course is beneficial. So by performing EDA, we get this conclusion and this conclusion will help in our data, tra data training. Now after pre-processing the data, we are going to train our model. For that, we have imported different different libraries for the manipulation and the visualization of our data. Then we have loaded our data into data frame df. df.head will dif display the first five record of our data. In machine learning, it is a curricular to separate the feature from the target variable. So we have declared x variable to assign all the features. And in y, we are storing the target variable. In our data set, math score is a target target variable and remaining all other features. Now we are using one hot encoder for converting categorical data into the numerical data so machine can understand it. Then fit transform is used to, by, to scale our numerical features which are encoded with the help of one, one hot encoder. Scaling ensures that all numerical features have the same scale with one hot encoding converts categorical variable into numerical format suitable for modeling. Then we are splitting our data into two parts, training and testing. Training data set are used to train our model where the testing data is used to evaluate our model or to, pre or to find the difference between y actual and y predict. Then we have used the evaluation functions to calculate mean absolute error, root mean square error and R2 score to check the performance of the machine learning models. Then there is a model training and evaluation loop. In this loop, regression models are trained on the training data and evaluated using the evaluation function. This allows comparing the performance of multiple models to select the best one of the task. Then we simply display the regression model and its R2 score. Among this all, we have chosen linear regression model to find the difference between the y actual and y predict and to create the visualization for same. So we have here, so we have plotted the graph for finding the difference between the y actual and y predict.
this the code fits a linear regression model to training data and evaluate the performance on testing data linear regression is a simple eight powerful model used for the regression task by visualizing the actual versus predict values help in understanding how well the model is performing the scatter plot with the regression line allow us to observe the relationship between the actual and predicate values in last we are finding the difference between the actual and predicate va predicted values calculating the difference between actual and predict values provide insight into the model errors this can help in identifying the pattern or areas where the model needs to improve it. for front end flask is used flask is lightweight and flexible web framework for python it provide tools libraries and pattern to help build web application quickly and easily this code set up a flask web application to predict student performance based on input data provided through the web form it allow user to input information such as gender ethnicity parental level of education etc and then uses a prediction pipeline to make prediction using a trained machine learning model the prediction result are then display back to the user on the web page in such a way this mini project is built to predict the student performance on on the basis of various features thank you so much for watching this video